it's been a popular entry-level ride ever since its introduction. Now it's in its eighth generation on this edition of Test Drive, the Nissan Sentra. The outgoing Nissan Sentra had remained essentially unchanged since it was introduced in 2012. Sitting still for that long in the automotive business is an eternity that sees you get left behind in a hurry. As such, the 2020 refresh was long overdue and made doubly important because the Sentra now becomes the gateway to the brand after the demise of the Micra and Versa Note. Thankfully, the rework is comprehensive and touches every aspect. The attention to detail and material quality take great steps forward, especially in the top line SR. Clean, clear instrumentation, a D-shaped steering wheel, and an eight inch screen for the infotainment system that supports Apple CarPlay and Android Auto, although that's not true of the lesser models. Now the saving grace in all of this, everything from the absolute base model up gets a full suite of safety equipment. One of the key improvements is the new 2.0-litre four-cylinder engine. It produces 149 horsepower and 146 pound-feet of torque and drives the front wheels through a reworked version of Nissan's Xtronic continuously variable transmission. The good news is it mimics the shifting of a regular automatic, which does away with just about all of the droning under hard acceleration. When it's time to get busy, the transmission has a sport mode that bumps the engine higher up the rev range, which makes things feel a little faster. Now this Sentra isn't particularly quick. It takes about 10 seconds to get to 100K. However, it does feel faster and never out of place in the cut and thrust of everyday driving. Now the good news is the test average that we attained with this vehicle, 6.9 liters per 100 kilometers. The other place that sees a big step forward is the ride and handling. The new platform has a 50mm wider track and the overall height drops by 56mm, which lowers the centre of gravity. The other important aspect of the platform is the quietness of the ride on the highway. The improved insulation and isolation reduce the amount of wind and road noise to infinity-like levels. Now this Sentra serves very well as a family sedan. Up front, the zero gravity seats give you great long distance comfort. You move back here, there's lots of head and leg room for a pair of adults, and you have a 405 liter trunk, which is larger than many bigger sedans. In other words, you've got everything a growing family needs. Wrapping things up is a new multi-link rear suspension that replaces the old twist beam. This addition, along with the SR's 215 45R18 tires, kept the Sentra anchored with much more authority and less body roll. Likewise, the new dual pinion steering setup brings more precision and the right sort of feedback. Through the pylons, the SR proved to be rock solid, even when it was pushed towards the limit. As entry-level rides go, its poise impressed. You know, this really is the best Sentra to date. It's got some visual swagger, a very nice cabin, and it handles remarkably well. It was once the forgotten contender. It can now stand on its own merits. If you like this video, give us a thumbs up, subscribe and share us. We really appreciate it.